Hey everyone, uh, are you able to see my screen? Uh, I can't hear you, so I'm going to assume everything is fine and get cracking with it. Hi, uh, my name is Shubham and uh, I'm a software engineer at McKinsey & Company. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about building native desktop applications using a library I created called ViewNodeGui. Before we get started, let's quickly take a look at the agenda for today. We're going to start off by talking about NodeGui, which is the underlying software that powers ViewNodeGui. And then we'll move on to creating mini apps uh, using view note GUI. There are a lot of demos in this talk, so I hope you have a good time. <laughs> Let's get started. So what is Node GUI? Uh, Node GUI is essentially a Node.js wrapper over Qt, a C++ native widget library. Uh, it also includes a support for flex-based layouts from Yoga by Facebook, uh, which by the way, it's also what uh, React Native uses under the hood. Uh, along with that, for all other styles like font size, text color, uh, we have something called Qt style sheets. So all of this combined together pretty much gives you a truly native experience as your apps are not running in any sort of Chromium window. Uh, all apps are still uh, JavaScript in runtime, so it's important to note that there's no transpiling happening at any point. Uh, let's take a look at the demo. Uh, in this, we'll be building a button counter uh, that increments the count on every click of the button. Fancy. Uh, taking a look at the code, uh, what's happening is that on line 4, uh, we start off by creating a queue main window, uh, which is the main window in which your application would run. Uh, then we go on to create something called the queue widget. Think of this as a div in the HTML world. On line 9, we start creating a button and set its initial text and also add an event handler that updates the text. Uh, towards the end of the file, uh, we wrap the button into the widget and the button into the queue main window. So yeah, on the right, uh, this is what it would look like. Uh, some of you may have already noticed that it's really familiar to the DOM API. Uh, here's a quick comparison between the two. Uh, yes, I agree, it's very similar. Uh, however, both of these are very imperative ways of building applications, so we do need a declarative approach for scale. Uh, in the web, we have things like React and Vue. Uh, similarly, for desktop applications in Node GUI, uh, we have React Node GUI and Vue Node GUI. Let's talk about Vue Node GUI today. So view node GUI is essentially a view three ren renderer over uh, the existing node GUI project. Uh, so you're essentially writing view code, but instead of generating web apps, you're generating native desktop applications. Pretty cool. Uh, when I'm feeling proud, I like to think of it as an early React native, but for desktop applications using view. Well, that's just me. Coming back to our counter example uh, with view node GUI, uh, this is what it would look like. Uh, it should look familiar to some of you. Uh, so we start off by adding the widgets uh, to our templates. By the way, the entire widget catalog is available on the documentation website. Uh, in the script tag, uh, we create uh, the setup API uh, using uh, the view3. Uh, we also have a reactive count uh, variable and an event handler uh, called increment. And yeah, we pretty much use this uh, in our templates itself. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about the other features that view node GUI offers like styling and event handling we already spoke a little bit about it but yeah so style is supported uh, in view node GUI using qt style strings how it works is that uh, you can add ids to whatever widgets you want and then use these ids pretty much anywhere in the css uh, string uh, in this example we've also included uh, the flex example uh, for the two buttons uh, again this is powered by yoga just a friendly reminder uh, Qt also supports uh, out-of-the-box uh, pseudo-selectors for styling. So in this case, we've used uh, the hover uh, pseudo-selector uh, to change the background and the text color for the two buttons. Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, one thing that's different is the style sheet prop uh, from the web. Uh, this is uh, currently required uh, for styles to work. So you need to add this prop to your uh, parent or the container component. However, uh, we are working on a style loader that would potentially eliminate the need for uh, something like this in the future. Uh, let's now talk about uh, events. So for events, we'll create a mini app uh, in which we capture the user's input, convert it to uppercase, and display it right below the input box. Uh, so we start off by creating an event handler that pretty much changes the text to uppercase. And then we attach the event handler to whatever widget you want in the template. 
in this case we're using be line, line edit because honestly by this point i'm pretty bored of buttons in this talk <laughs> uh there's also another option for those of you who've worked with you you would have already recognized it uh, is that you can use a uh, p model and yeah this is a uh, support red right out of the box with uh, view node GUI. Uh, the entire list of uh, the events for each of these widgets are again on the documentation website. Now that I've mentioned it a couple of times, it's about time we took a look at <laughs> uh, the documentation site. Uh, so here's a quick uh, overview of it. So on the API page, uh, you can find the entire widget catalog and also the documentation for every single widget uh, that is there. Here, let's take a look at uh, the checkbox. So with every widget, we have this sample usage documentation. Uh, we have what it looks like. And if you scroll a little further, we have all the props uh, documented too. However, some of you who are just starting off would be more interested in the docs tab uh, where we have documented the steps for getting started, a few design decisions, a few more code snippets. So yeah, do check it out. We also have this nifty little search that will allow you to search for whatever you want uh, super quickly. So in this case, we'll just look for VN view, uh, which by the way, it's a view node GUI version of the Q widget in node GUI. Yeah, it takes you to the API page. Amazing. So now for the most important part uh, of this presentation, uh, all my social media plugs. <laughs> uh, but in all honesty, do make sure that uh, you check out my Twitter later today because that's where I'll be sharing uh, all these slides. So you'll be able to get uh, easier access to all the links that I mentioned uh, in this talk. Uh, if you're interested, please also do check out uh, the project. Uh, it's view node GUI in the node GUI organization. Uh, it's in its infancy, so we are really, really, really wholeheartedly welcoming <laughs> any sort of contributions from all of you and even the entire community. Uh, anything from code to uh, infrastructure to CICD to documentation, all of it is welcome. Uh, so please do consider that. While you're at it, you can also check out the other repositories in the NodeGui organization, uh, the NodeGui itself and React NodeGui. Uh, if you're interested in things like news and updates uh, about the NodeGui world, uh, take a look at the official Twitter handle. Uh, it's managed by this uh, amazing guy called Atul, who is also the creator of uh, NodeGui. Uh, so yeah, I hope you had fun in this talk. I surely did. Uh, yeah, that's my talk. Bye-bye.